Many people have asked me about my speaking. Jasim, how did you learn English? How do you speak like this? How do you speak so easily? Many questions. So I thought I would make a video on this, but I wanted this to be very serious. So today we are going to talk about how can you prepare yourself for the IELTS speaking test. Also, I'll share with you my tips, what will help you to feel more confident and get a higher score. So let's get started. Remember that during IELTS speaking, you need to talk much more than your examiner does. The way to do this is to develop your answers. For example, you get a question, do you have brothers and sisters? So don't say, no, I don't. We could say like, you know, I'm the only child, but I have five cousins. When I was little, we used to spend a lot of time together. Like that, okay? And another tip is that don't be silent. I understand that sometimes we simply don't know what to say but we have to try you know to think in English in all ways uh, I'll, I'll give you an example uh, you are asked this question what is your favorite music band I chose this question because it's a difficult question for me but I could say I'm not even sure if I have a favorite music band I don't listen to music too much these days but when I do I simply turn on the radio okay so I know that during the exam when you feel pressure to say something smart you know some people say that but it's not a test on your IQ or knowledge you have to simply you know talk don't filter your thoughts say whatever is coming to your mind and that's the way to talk more and score more you probably know that your grammar and vocabulary are assessed with you during this test right uh, but don't try to say something complicated just for the sake of it speak naturally okay don't try to use complicated grammar structures or you know some people say like you know past perfect continuous tense okay don't talk in you know, a very long sentences as well you are more likely to make mistakes uh, if you like the question or not attempt to answer it okay that's what we have to do don't change the topic slightly just because it's easier for you and if you are not sure what the actual question is you can ask for clarifications many people don't know that but that is okay you can say something like you know uh, I'm sorry I didn't quite get that could you uh, repeat that question for me please okay or you can say I'm sorry are you asking this okay or uh, if like this you're allowed to do that but don't take it for granted okay ask to repeat only if you really didn't get the question and don't use it if you simply don't know what to say okay but in this case what we can do we can do something that is uh, sometimes you know a question can catch you out so if you don't know what to say you can buy yourself a bit of time we had talked about this in previous videos but you can start your answer with one of some phrases for example I have never thought about it but uh, I, I guess okay or I'm not sure what my opinion is to be honest but I would think that okay or I don't know much about it but the first thing that comes to my mind is okay so while you are saying one of such phrases you have a couple of seconds to think how you can actually answer the question the good thing is you are still showing you can speak in english and there is no awkward silence after the question but make sure it sounds natural it's very 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 important it has to be natural uh, and i'll explain you why in a second that is don't learn your answers okay many ielts speaking questions are predictable we know that but you know don't be tempted to learn some answers by heart and that is that is very serious examiners what we have to understand is examiners are trained to spot you know memorize the answers and you will get zero point for those speak naturally and make sure you don't repeat the same phrases you know over and over again but it doesn't mean you should not practice actually it's the other way around you need to practice as much as you can that's the only thing you have to do and there is a list of uh, you know many you know typical topics for the IELTS speaking uh, section and uh, you can have it from our application English Guru campus if you want download it is there in the description one of the ways to practice is to find yourself a buddy 
sometimes you know uh, who is also preparing for IELTS and ask you know questions each other and that's a good practice and if you want to do that you can use our platform as well like just leave a comment uh, below uh, with your Skype or mail ID or uh, you know and let other candidates find you and if you don't have a buddy if you couldn't buy a uh, find a buddy then talk to yourself we have you know uh, talked about it in our previous uh, videos like how to practice alone you know you know you, you can think of IELTS questions yourself and then attempt to answer them talk along like you would do during the exam and that's a very good practice and it will help you even simpler you can practice thinking in English uh, when you are sitting there you know uh, just thinking about something try to think in English you know it will help you uh, find the uh, the sentences and find words in English quicker if you don't speak English often it may be difficult for you to switch from your native language to English in one moment and this is very serious okay uh, the morning before your speaking exam, um, listen to some news in English. Arrive your IELTS center at a you know a bit earlier, and find a quiet spot nearby and just speak to yourself in English. You can uh, pick one of the IELTS topics, or you know you can talk whatever you are thinking at that moment in English. It doesn't matter what you are talking about, but. Uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to switch okay and it will help you to switch your brain to English and that's the point and uh, once you enter the room I'm sure that you will feel ready to speak to the examiner I hope these tips will help you get your desired score in IELTS speaking. You can download our application to get some IELTS materials if you want. Uh, link is there in the description. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to get more tips about IELTS preparation, subscribe to my channel. And good luck with your IELTS exam. And see you soon.